Come on, little guy. So I came across this little guy in a swimming pool, and he was floating. He was swimming about a minute or so before I got to the pool, and then he was floating by the time I got back. First thing I thought when I saw him in there, I was like, oh, that poor little guy. And so that's why I went to go get something to get him out. And by the time I got back, I was like, ah. I just gave him chest compressions, little small ones to squeeze him, just enough to get the air moving, but not enough that I might crush his ribs or anything. So I got him out, and I rubbed his belly a little bit, tried to pump some air into him, opened his mouth to get the uh, water out and turned him upside down. And he's breathing again. His breathing's getting better. Okay. Wake up. There you go. Take it slow. Nice and easy. I decided I should rescue him because I thought he just needs a chance to live. Everybody needs a chance to live, whether you know it's a cat or a dog or a person, anything. And he looks so cute too. <laughs> When I first saw him take his like first breath and spit the water out, I was like, oh my god, it's working. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, should I just let him go? Should I keep doing it? And then eventually, you know, he started moving around more. I thought, well, I gotta get him over somewhere where it's warm and he can dry off and see if he recovers. If I could speak squirrel, I'd tell him to stay away from pools because it's dangerous. After they posted that video, there's a lot of people out there that are doing, you know, rescues like that, which I think is a good thing because it teaches people to have more compassion towards animals and everybody else. After he came back around, he just had enough energy to scurry off back into the, the desert where he came from. There's a lot of ground squirrels out here in the desert in Arizona, so I'm sure he had family out there. You know.